Hey guys, welcome back to another 4th Bro Redstone tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make an aimable cannon. Alright, so what you got to do first is you got to get an 8 by 7 by 2 rectangular prism. And then on one side of that, on the 7 length side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, you're going to place 5 blocks on the edge. This is going to be the front of your cannon. And then what you want to do is you want to go back one, two, three, four, five on both both edges and the middle, but leave the uh, these two spaces uh, open. And then on this side, what you're going to want to do is go one, two, three like that. Then over here, just cover up these little holes like so. Extend this all the way up, but don't put one there then this all the way up to here and break that one all the way up to here I guess you don't really have to break this oh not there you don't really have to break this but you know, just don't place it there put two fences one there and one there alright so next you want to come around it this side over here like that go down one over one down one over one down one over one down one over one four times so that Oops, it's right below that area. This is what's going to set off the bottom of the charge. Hook that up all the way up to there, on that block right there. Same thing on the other side. Down one over one. Four times. Four repeaters, no delay on them at all. And then a bit of redstone there. Peter facing that way, Peter facing that way, no delay on either of them. Extend it all the way to the end. Good right there. Then what you want to do is place your water right there and right there. Then you want to come back over here and extend this out, this bit right here. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then only on the bottom, only extend it out two. Break these two bits. Actually, you're going to end up breaking it anyway. But what you got to do is you got to come around to the front here, break this, place a torch there. Then, one, two, three, four, five. Just go until it breaks. Okay, there it is. Put, that, put the block back, place these, and now you're going to place repeaters facing that way, all with uh, three ticks of delay all the way back. You gotta make it sure it's three ticks otherwise your cannon might not shoot properly. And then don't put one back here, put a redstone torch there. Wire leading all the way around it just in case. Come back to the front, place your torch down, should be off. That's how it's supposed to be. Put your button down, press it, over here, light should turn on briefly and turn off. It's a plan. So right now, this is actually a functioning cannon. This will actually work if you use it. But uh, there's a few, there's a modification that I made that really, uh, really helps. So there's one there. Our piston, pistons facing inward right here on both sides at the ends. And then what you want to do is you want to come over here, extend this out one, and then up one, break that one. Extend it out two again. Build up from there until it meets. Same thing over here. Oops. Then what you want to do is put it, put redstone. First of all, you gotta put redstone on the top of it all the way. Then put a torch down, and this leading all the way up to the front like that. And place repeaters with full delay. all the way back and then a bit of redstone there and a bit of redstone there hang on a sec, there we go now the piston is, is extended do the same thing on the other side extend it all the way up to the front piston, er, repeater all full ticks full ticks on all of them what I'm, what I'm doing here is that this uh, this makes it so that the delays between the pistons opening and the TNT being ignited are the same. 
So th they both have eight repeaters on them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All the way up to the front. So they're perfectly timed. That way, when you push the button, the TNT ignites, pistons retract, they fire, the TNT goes, and it's uh, it's done. And uh, that's that's the cannon right there. All right, so now we got our cannon built. Let's uh, let's do some damage. So the first way to load it is uh, like I'm doing right now, and place it under here because I would get rid of the water and the cannon would explode. That's not good. So uh, this one, this way, when you load it, it should shoot uh, pretty far, and it'll um, this is takes eight, uh, seventeen pieces of TNT to shoot this way, but it's an expensive cannon, so if you have the uh, you see that pretty far, shot a little left, but that's okay. But you know, the point of this cannon isn't to make a cannon that shoots really far; it's to make a cannon that can shoot in different directions so as you can see it already shoots to the left you know maybe not as far but pretty pretty good so I'm gonna shoot it to the right this time should go over there somewhere as you can see it went to the left a little more which is, which is the point of the cannon so you don't have to build a cannon right here to hit that area you can just have this cannon and you can go even more extreme. It won't go as far, but but that's still uh that's still good, you know. So I didn't have to build. No, it still went. It was a pretty decent distance, and uh, as you can see, there's probably not. That's like a, that's a big distance, and uh, there's a there's a big difference there, <laughs> obviously. So uh oh, rain. Look at that don't want him in there. Get enough rain where I live. Uh. So yeah, there's a quick demonstration of uh, how the cannon works. Hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, have fun with your with your aimable cannon.